Hi and welcome to the video. Today we have a special little deal we're doing here. I've got this box. It's full of Amazon carving tools for leather. What I'm going to be doing is using these to carve a pattern. Uh, they ended up costing $24 so it's a steal of a deal. We'll check out and see how they work but here's the kit as you can see. It comes with the mall several stamping tools, a little swivel knife. I will also be carving that same pattern with the tools that I use on a normal basis. That way we'll be able to see a comparison between how much better the, those ones perform or how well these ones perform. So we'll take a peek. So let's check out the tools. So here's the swivel knife and I'm just going to be using it the way it came from the box. I'm not going to be doing any sharpening to it. And this is the mall. I didn't weigh it, but I assume it's right around 12 ounces or so. And here's a veiner. It's a little wider than what I'm used to. And there's a camouflage tool. This set came with two of the same. Well, they were little different sizes, but they were the same tool generally. And here we have a pear shader. It's got a cross hatch design on it, checkering pattern. And here's another thumbprint with almost the same design. I think they're the same exact tool. And then here's our beveler. It's got a matching pattern on it, the same as that pear shader did. And then this is kind of a geometric tool. I think you could use this and make a nice pattern. And then another smooth beveler that came with the kit. It doesn't have a very steep face. And then this one's just a little decorative leaf that you could add on a corner or anywhere to get a little extra pop. And this one I'm not really quite sure what it was. I never stamped it on leather to really, maybe it would help me picture it. And here's another camouflage tool. This one has a little bit different shape than the one we've seen earlier. You could also use that as a border tool for a basket stamp. And there's another one that's a little larger. It has a different scallop pattern on it. And here's a little mule foot. And it's also not very steep and doesn't have very sharp detail on it. And then this is a little flower. And another veiner, which is also pretty thick. You'll see how I can use that later on. And here's just a little decorative butterfly stamp. And here's the basket stamp. I didn't try that either, but I don't know how good it would work. Then a little cedar tool that came with it. That actually doesn't look too bad. There's a little close-up view of it. And a smooth little hair shader. And then here are some modeling tools or some scribes that also came with the kit. So next we're going to get started drawing a little pattern out. I decided since the kit didn't really come with a good flower center that I'd just have to draw a flower without a center so I kind of made this scroll coming right where the flower center would typically be. It worked down alright I think.
guys so I'm starting to transfer the pattern here and I actually am going to use the Amazon tools first so time to get busy with that swivel knife I was surprised my first impression with this thing it actually cut through the leather really smooth it didn't quite open up the cut as much as I'm used to with my other tools but I was very surprised with this one Alright, so now we're going to start off with that thumbprint. Get some shading going on this flower. Jump forward, now we're getting some of those little leaves done. So now, using that beveler. And it did leave a lot to be desired, but it, it worked very well for the money, that's for sure. The mall was also kind of just a mall. But if you're just starting out into leather, I would, I think I could suggest buying just any old cheap set of tools on Amazon. It's just, in my opinion, the best way to just at least get started. And this didn't really come with a background tool, so I used that wider veiner to kind of knock down the background. And the way it was shaped has that curvature to it. It helped me get down in all those little places that would otherwise be hard to get into. But I think that turned out pretty decent. Now time to add a little texture to these uh, scrolls. And what I used to do that was one of those camouflage tools that came with the kit. And it kind of did a nice little stacked effect. I like the way it turned out. Now just time to finish it up with some decorative cuts. Just add that finishing detail. And here's what we came up with for the Amazon tools. Now I'll add a little bit of oil to that later and antique it and you can really check out how it turned out. So you'll have to stay tuned and check that out. So now we swapped tools and we're going to cut that same exact pattern with a different swivel knife and different tools. I'm just going to speed it up and go on through since you've already seen the process once already. Beveling. I'm used to running these tools, so that does make a difference. You kind of know how they're going to perform and how fast they're going to slide. That other beveler from Amazon, it, it had a little bit of catching in it. It just wouldn't run smoothly as I'd like, but I'm sure we could fix that up with a little bit of buffing. I ran a cam or yeah that camouflage tool on the scrolls of that other one I figured I'd do the same on this one just to kind of keep them even finishing the cuts up real quick and there we go there's a side by side the top one's gonna be the Amazon tools and this is the regular tools kind of see them side by side and there's really not much difference to them whatsoever and very surprising results I was surprised how good they came out now we're gonna rub some antique on them just to just for out of curiosity see how they come out just gonna let all that stuff get down in the low spots and wipe it off from the high spots and that'll kind of make add a little contrast to it and we'll be able to tell. So you can see those better tools I believe turned out to be a little bit nicer but for the cost difference between the two I'm not sure if it's even worth it. But I do believe you are faster at least running the better tools as opposed to the Amazon ones. That does make a difference. I 
hope everybody enjoyed this video. Subscribe and that bell to catch some more. Thank you.